Congratulations. I've got Power of Evil joining me. Power of Evil, thank you so much. I know it's tough after a hard-fought series like that. 3-1 fashion, though. Just want to get your initial thoughts coming off. What happened today? Where was the breakdown? Um, well, what can I say? TL just showed up as a better team. I think they um, just outfought us and outplayed us in certain situations. I think you could see in Game 3 that when we actually won out on the bot lane fight, that we actually could snowball the game. But in the other three games, it just felt like they would just win out on the Herald fights, they would have been out on the Dragon fights, and just the first game was the closest, I think. We could have maybe gotten that home, but it felt like they just had a better scaling, so it was rough, it was rough. I asked a similar question uh, to Alfari uh, around series meta and kind of the way it develops, but we had very different looks out of these two teams today than some of the others throughout uh, the postseason already. Again, calling out things like the Bard. Not the first team to bring out the Wukong, but it's still kind of unique, at least in some senses. We had the Ziggs in the bot lane. We've got you playing Azir, where other mid laners have not yet here in the postseason. Uh, how do you feel about TSM's general meta read here in the postseason? Do you think there are there is a best you know way of winning a best meta a best team comp or is that something that you guys specifically worked out as your best avenue of winning well obviously um as Safari said we, we are obviously trying to play our style trying to play our meta what fits us the best with what we had the highest win rate in scrims and throughout the season but um as you could see that we branched out a little bit you know we picked other champions we tried other styles and uh, obviously adapted throughout the, throughout the series, trying to pick up the bot, which was really strong against us, and we didn't really have an answer for what he provided. So mm -hmm. we tried to take that away. Um, tried out the Wukong on the top lane, or in the last game, the LeBlanc, having that playmaking opportunity. But um, as I said, I think what it came down to was actually, like maybe it was drafted a little bit, but I think a lot came down to these certain situations, these certain fights. Um, even the last game, I felt like when we had the two, 3B, 3B2 in mid lane, I mean, there should have been like a 2 0, but uh, there's just like little mechanical mistakes and we just lost out on these. From game to game, when you have little moments like that, right? Uh, but you, you're still required to play out the rest of the game, but you get back into the locker room, you're discussing with Bjergsen and the rest of the crew, uh, them with the bird's eye omniscient, you know, uh, perspective, and you with the in game perspective. H how do you work through those things in the limited time you have between a game three and a game four to figure out what you want to change? Well, obviously, from game to game, you just quickly like recap how did we lose, why did we lose, like trying to figure out what's the reason and what's not the reason, and uh, obviously, and then additionally, um, when you're like kind of like your back is against the wall, um, we just try it. Okay, now we're on red side. We just try it. Maybe like more aggressive style or more early game. I think we're a pretty good early game team in general. So, um, Alfari said the same. Yeah. So I think way. we just try to. Um, kind of start, like change it up since they would win out on the early game fights. So we felt like, okay, let's try to get some more early game power and didn't work out, but that was the plan. Unfortunate. From here though, you're still very much live in the postseason. You drop to the lower bracket, your next opponent is going to be Immortal. So I want to get a few thoughts from you, not only on that matchup, but what will now be the road to capturing that third and final seed and possibly again, the LCS title as we do have two teams already locked for international competition. Well, I've been in the lower bracket before, so yep. uh, with FlyQuest, um, I think uh, we just need to be ready against the models if we can beat them. Honestly, I believe that the lower bracket run is actually pretty good for teams because you can get these games, you can get this experience, and you can kind of like get that momentum as a team to like hold together. Every game is like matters so much. Um, obviously, we wished for that we went the upper bracket way, but. Um, yeah, I think Immortals is a strong team. They're definitely not underestimate, like we shouldn't underestimate them. But uh, we felt, we did pretty good against them in the regular season. And I think uh, they, are, they, are, they definitely have their style as well. They are scary things. But uh, I think if we prepare correctly and we play better, then we can win. I mean, let us not forget, you guys are the number one team from the regular season. So this is a, a team to be reckoned with, a team to be feared. Power of Evil, while it wasn't the result you wanted today, I do want to thank you for an exciting series, an entertaining one, and for taking the time with me here on the stage. Thank you as well.